Okay, so now we've got our uh, yellow wire that's connected to our switch here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this wire to the batteries back here. Um, and the best way I found to do this is to go ahead and remove the batteries. And let's bring the wire around. We're going to bring it around like this. See how long it needs to be. So we need this wire to intersect with that spring back there. So we can trim off this part like that. And then let's get our wire strippers here. It may take just a little bit off, a little bit more off. Okay, now we've got the wire cut. And we're going to take the wire and just tuck it right behind that spring. So it's a good use for the, ne the needle nose pliers here. All right, so that spring should snap back and pinch that wire against the outside of the, uh, I should say against the inside of the, of the battery holder. Then we can put our batteries back in. Whoa, there it goes, you can hear it running. Okay. So when we close that switch, we can turn off the we can turn off the power alright now let's do the rest of the bot we've still got a lot more left to put together um, we're gonna take another switch and we're gonna use that to turn on and off the LED eyeballs so we'll we'll put that together and uh, so here are the LEDs and let's go ahead and wire those up so we've got uh, a long leg and a short leg. You can see on both LEDs. Now the long leg is the positive leg and LEDs are polarized which means that the positive leg is important. <laughs> you got to connect it to the positive side of the circuit otherwise it's not going to work. The power can only flow through the LED in one, one uh, direction. So what I like to do is bend them out, bend the legs out just a little bit like that. And you can actually look inside the LED and see there's a different shape and a different size to the different legs. So it's the, the two smaller pieces are connected to the longer legs. That's the positive side. So, and these are the negative sides here. And we can always double check that by straightening the legs back out again if we want to, to just get a sense for how... Uh, which one's longer, and the longer leg is again connected to that littler piece of material on the inside. Okay, so let's go like that, and like that. So let's make the center positive. And we can do that just by twisting these wires together, or these legs together like this. Now in order for the LEDs to function properly, they have to have resistors. We need resistors um, because otherwise the LEDs will draw too much current from the batteries and they'll burn out. So we're going to take a resistor and wind it around the negative leg. The uh, resistors can technically go on positive leg or on the positive or the negative. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. All right, so we've got a lot of pieces that are connected there. And now remember, uh, we've got, oh, looks like, we've got our 
negative from our battery our, our battery is here and it looks like the positive may have come off so we can add that back let's go ahead and put our antennas on so we're going to bend our paper clips out we'll do that and actually let's do the antennas in just a second we'll uh, let's finish the LED eyes first so um, we're going to take the red wire and that's going to be the positive or the center wire and we just need to trim off just a little bit there we go We're twisting that wire around the center because those are that's going to be the uh, positive. And so the negative wires will connect to the negative. So um, this switch is going to turn let us turn our LED eyes on and off. Uh, but we have a disconnected wire here. It looks like we need to reconnect the positive to that there. And we, we don't really need it to be quite this long, so we're going to trim it down. So we need to do a red wire there, and we don't we don't have it right now. So we're going to reconnect it. And uh, we do have a little stub that's sticking up, so we can just. Oh, <laughs> you can hear it's bumping the switches and it's turning on and off. Okay, so once we've got the uh, red wire there, we can go ahead and solder that in place. And you can see it looks like we got a pretty good connection to our positive. So in order for this switch to turn on and off our LED eyes, zoom out a little bit here. There we go. In order for this switch to turn off on and off our LED eyes, we need to connect it from the negative through the uh, this to the positive. And uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, put some solder on the, on the connections here to make sure that they don't come up apart on our LEDs. And you can actually see the solder wick, wick up and down between the wires. Okay, so we're going <clears> to... <throat> we need to connect another wire here to these. So, let's see. Let's, let's make that another... We'll make that a white wire. And let's take off just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to twist the, the two tails of this together. Like this, of the resistors together there. And it's important that the wires stay separated. So we may put some tape over that some electrical tape here to just keep everything separated because obviously if the positive and the negative touch it's going to short so let's go ahead and see if we can wire this up there we go 
Again, we want to make sure we have that solid physical connection before we do the, uh, before we connect it with solder. All right, here we go. There it goes. 